So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent. Doesn't telegraph anything. Gets his foot to the target as quickly as any fighter on this UFC roster. More often than not, guys don't even see it coming. He attacks that lead leg beautifully. Opponent certainly is wary of those lightning-fast kicks coming in here tonight. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. So here is the bonus machine, the Sao Paulo native Charles Oliveira, perennial featherweight contender, made his UFC debut all the way back in 2010. He was 20 years old, submitted Darren Elkins with an armbar in 41 seconds. He was just out of high school, Joe. We have really watched Dubronx Oliveira grow up in the UFC and really just scratching the surface in terms of just how high the ceiling is for this man at 145. This guy has devastating choking technique. If he can get a hold of your neck, he can close it off like very few in the world. Hard tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Oliveira is one year his senior. He will have a one inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruton. Dateline, Las Vegas, Nevada. No better place to be on fight night. We are underway here at the T-Mobile Arena. Oliveira gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. That one hurt. Nice jab. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Try to establish that jab. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Kick lands for him there. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Another nice kick. Very solid. Big left hand lands upstairs. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Whoa! He hurt him. Looked like it did start Man. a little bit. Oh! He hurt him with that punch in the clinch. his stance yet again. Oh! Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a welt on his opponent. He's limping. It looks like he's hurt. How about that shin? A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, this fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And you want to credit the offense and not denigrate the defense, but he did not get the guard up. And against this type of striker, you are absolutely playing with poison. So a near-perfect kick spells the end of this one here tonight. Here we see it again. Boom! And then he's out. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Oh, we now go inside the Ladies Octagon where Bruce Buffer has, has the, the official the decision. Contest at three minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by knockout, Zombie Mario Mitchell. So there's the